Hello everybody and welcome back again, my name is Zenda16 and today, welcome back to the gaming news. In today's episode, well video of sorts, we have news from League of Legends, Minecraft and the Hummel Bundles. So yet again, not many news related topics have been coming out. So yeah, unfortunately, that's all we have to talk about. So let's jump straight in with some League of Legends. Let's go. Okay, so the first League of Legends news we're going to be talking about is the new skin for Nami, the River Spirit Nami. Now, this skin is the latest skin for Nami, as I've just been saying, and it really, really does look really nice. On screen, I'll most likely get the another video of uh, a YouTuber guy named Skin Spotlights, and he does loads of these skin spotlight things for all V-Works and stuff. And I recommend you guys go and check them out. You can see all the latest skins and stuff that are released on the PVE, you know, quite re like quite regular. So you guys can check them all out. And yeah, this is one of them and it looks really, really nice. Now, I don't play Nami, but I am really tempted on getting this skin because it really does look that nice. It looks beautiful. So, I don't know, but... Either way, if you guys do play Nami, then there you guys go. An awesome skin for you guys to go and try out. And yeah, as that, that's kind of the only skin release that we've had very recently. But there's been a visual update I'm going to talk about right now. Let's go and talk over to it. So the next bit of news I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the new update to Carthus. This is the brand spike spanking new visual we work for Carthus, and my god, does he look really, really beautiful. <laughs> Seriously. Um, I do like the new skin and stuff, you know, the old visual we work, they've changed all of his abilities and stuff, and they do look really nice, but... You know, you, you can't beat the old classic purple, um, purpley Carthus. I think that suited him a lot more than the new blue themed. I know it goes with where he's from, he's from the Shadow Isles, but his purpley still suits him a bit better. And also, I don't like the fact that they've changed him now to a zombie guy until instead of a scale. I prefer the scale version of him, you know, it just makes him look more badass. But... Hey, I still like the skin, well, the rework, and it does look really nice. But I would have just preferred him just to high res his skin and yeah, just change his abilities but keep him purple. I think that would have made it a little bit more better in my books, but eh, it doesn't look too bad. And yeah, if you guys want to, go and try out the new Carthus, because he does look pretty darn cool. And. Yeah, now, I'm not going to be talking about the other skins, because there's actually a few skins, but I'm not going to be talking about them, because I've not been officially announced, and I only talk about officially announced stuff. So anything that is apparently announced, or teased, and stuff, even though these skins will be coming out, because they're on the PvE, I'm not going to talk about them until literally Riot has said, these skins are coming. So, yeah. But anyway, that's that, so let's go and talk about the next thing. Let's go. And now, the next thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the new update to Summoner's Rift. That is right, they've actually finally decided to update Summoner's Rift instead of updating Champions, unlike Karthus. But still, the new Summoner's Rift looks amazing i really do love the new look for summoner's rift it looks so so beautiful i also like the theme that they went for so like one side um i think it's the red side or something um the shopkeeper is like a steampunk kind of guy and on the other side is something different um the new way that this jungle creeps spawn they look amazing like um the dragon Dragon flies down, lands on the rocky bit around the back, and slowly walks across the, you know, the stone bit, and jumps down, and that's when you're ready to fight. 
the new jungle creeps look absolutely awesome. You know, they've got the buff in actually embedded inside them instead of how they used to be, where they used to be just like an epic monster with the buff going around them like the Playo did and um, does. The new look for the creeps as well, you know, the lane creeps, they look pretty darn cool. Baron that has been changed also to fit in what they did with the video. If you guys remember the Twist of Fate video, Baron had three heads. Well, he's always had three heads, but you could only see one because it was just one massive stick of a model. But now they've actually sh separated his heads, and now he has three heads again, just like how he's meant to do. And he looks amazing. So yeah, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have the video of what um, Riot actually posted of the map and it looks amazing <laughs> i can't wait for this new rework of the map because it looks so good but yeah that's that <laughs> so let's go and jump over to the final bit of league of legends news let's go now the final bit of league of legends news i have for you guys today is the new patch 4.9 notes so what does this patch offer well the patch contents include a vigil update for Carthus, champion updates for Brum, Kozix, Rengar, Soraka, Kassadin, Pantheon, and Rumble, some minor bug fixes to some recall animations, the Volibear and Elise. They have also changed some of the jungle creeps. They've also changed Kozix on the Twisted Tree Line and the Tristal Scar, friend lists, the tame rewards, wards, skin updates, and upcoming skins have all been renounced. So, the visual update changes Karthus, you know, changes all those abilities. Brum has been nerfed and stuff, which he really didn't need because he was a bit too powerful. Kassadin and Kozix have both been nerfed again because they're just ultimately overpowered. And yeah, there's been loads of other changes and stuff. I recommend you guys go and check them out. Um, So yeah, the skin updates actually was just well, two skin updates. There's the Rogue Scout Quinn, which I'm not going to talk about yet until they release the, you know, the page all about the skin. And also the new, uh, oh, what's it called? The Pentakill Band, as you know, with Sona, Mordekaiser, Karthus, um, who else? Yorick, and Olaf, I think. Is it Olaf? I think Olaf is one of them, isn't he? Yeah, Olaf is the drummer. Um, they've changed the splash art for that, which looks really, really nice. So there you guys go. You can go and pick that. You can go and have a look at that on the new, um, on the uh, main game now. So yeah, it does look really nice. I recommend you guys go to the link in the description and go and check that out. You know, if you guys want to learn. Or read up what has been changed exactly, because I'm not going to go over it, because it'll just take way too long. But yeah, go and check it out. And that's all the Lady of Legends news we have for you guys today. So let's go over to Minecraft. Let's go. Now, the only bit of Minecraft news we have for you guys um, today is the Minecraft 1.7.10 pre-release. So what this is, is a update to Minecraft Realms, which now is available all around the world, which is quite awesome. Um, the Minecraft changes are that, well, it's not Minecraft changes really, but um, the 1.7.10 pre-release is just basically player activity monitor, access to more server settings, improvement to the Realms UI, some bug changes and some other stuff, and that is actually it, really. They've not said anything else about it, unfortunately. That That is literally the extent of it. So, not a lot of news about that. They've also talked about, you know, the reset the net thing that's going on. But that's not really Minecraft specific. That's just the whole entire web specific. So, yeah, that's actually the, all we have to talk about Minecraft and Mojang. So, yeah. Let's go and jump over to the final thing, which we cover every single episode. The Humble Bundles. Let's go. So the first Humble Bundle we have to cover for you guys today is the Humble Bundle PC and Android 10 Bundle. So I'm pretty sure I talked about this one last week, but it's now had, you know, some things have been added since then. 
So, if you pay whatever the price you want, you get sympathy. Draw a stickman epic. And Glacian Legends with Glacian Fusion as a bonus kind of thing. Um, if you pay more than $4.91, you will unlock a Skull of the Shotgun, Metal Slug 3, and Breach and Clear. If you guys, um, not actually, you get more than that if you pay that. There isn't, you know, some of this. Um, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You get, also you get Field Runners, Field Runners 2, Frozen Synapse, and Little, well, It'll Do. It is... Yeah, little do I think that is, but that's what you get is get if you pay more than four dollars and ninety one cents. So if you guys are interested in getting any of those games, you'll get also the soundtracks with them as well, which is really really awesome. So if you guys are interested in getting any of those games, or well, the whole bundle, of course, you can play these on PC and on your Android as well, which is really awesome. So if you guys are interested, then guys. Go and pick that up. You can pick it all up for five dollars if you so wish, and it all helps charity, as that's what the humble bundle does. So yeah, now let's move on to the weekly humble bundle. So the weekly humble bundle is the humble weekly bundle German edition. This is where you get to play, pay pretty much what you want, and uh, to. Get yourselves the awesomeness of some merry epic German games. So if you guys pay whatever you wish, you will get Brute, uh, Beat Buddy, Tales of the Guardians, Spirits, The Great Jitters, Puddin Panic, Tiny and Big in Grandpa's Leftovers, Galaxy on Fire 2, Full HD, Crazy Machines 2, and The Guild 2 Collection. If you guys pay more than the average of $3.88, you get Risen, the Book of Unwritten Tales Digital Deluxe Edition, and Alcana. And if you pay more than $9, you guys get Gatina Stager Twisted Bundle, I think that is, the Knight of the Rabbit Premium Edition, plus the awesomeness of the soundtracks of some of the games, not all of them. Um, so if you guys are interested in getting any of those games, you can pick them all up for a total of ten dollars, which I actually have no idea how much is in, in other currencies. But if you guys are interested in this, and um, go and pick this up because it also helps out Make a Wish Foundation, which isn't to me one of the best charities out there. So if you guys are interested, then go and pick these up. Let's go and support charity and play some awesome games. That's what the humble bundles are all about, basically. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, go and pick them up, and now we're going to have a look over to the Humble Bucky Bundle. Uh, why do I say that? I don't know. Let's <laughs> go. And now finally for the final Humble Bundle, the Humble Ebook Bundle Far. So if you guys pay for whatever you want, you get Wizardwig, the Portal of the Serial, well, Serial Hacker, March Book 1, the Sword and Sorcery Analogy. If you pay more than $10, you unlock Jam and Lovecraft Monsters Analogy. And I think, I'm not too sure because it doesn't have it on the screen, as you guys should have had to see. Um, actually, I think it's paying more than the average, I think. But it, it's a weird set out, it's normally not like this. But you get awful interception. Wizard's First Rule, The Alchemist, The Executionist. Or exe I can't read because to me the writing is so small. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> from Hell, From Hell Companion, Too Cool to Be Forgotten, and Shambling Towards Hanograms. I think that says. I'm not too sure. But either way, there are your books that you guys can get. Links in the description to everything I'll talk about today. And yeah, go and check it all out. And I will see you in tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Minecraft video of sorts. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, everyone.